So in the lounge with Frankie Jack and look at the state. He's just had something with tomato sauce and it's all down him. But we've just made, what have we just made? He's got it all over his face, face as well. I'm just going to throw him in the bath. What have we just made? Uh, bunny rabbit sandwiches. I'm going to show you those. Not literally bunny rabbit sandwiches. <laughs> they just look like bunny rabbits though. Anyway, I'm going to show you that trick for Easter because it's fabulous for the kids. But in the meantime, I just wanted to say, please uh, give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Uh, that's the most important thing for us to be able to carry on uh, vlogging like this. Um, it's right down here. You can just press that red button. I'd love to have you part of the family. And don't forget, leave, forget to leave your comments below. You can let me know about any decorations that you've done that uh, you may want me to do going forward or some ideas for my Easter table. So here we go on my two flower decorations for Easter. Zippy. So this is an Easter um, bouquet that I've just done. I've just tried it out um, before um, uh, I do my Easter table. So I've got, this is three bunches of daffodils that are in there that I picked up for a pound each in a supermarket. And how I've done this is I've picked up a Savoy cabbage. This was 67 pence. You need to get quite a large uh, Savoy cabbage, as big as you possibly can. And then inside, because we do quite small cabbages in this country, I don't know why. So I need to fill that up with water again. So this plastic container here, I've got from, um, it's one of those plastic containers that you drink from in the summer outside. So this was a beer one, so it was quite tall. So I've cut it in half, filled it with water, and then I've emptied um, the inside of this Savoy cabbage. So, of course, they're not going to last for a very long time. Um, and this is the first one that I've done. You also need to cut the bottom so it will sit flat on a flat surface. Um, and then some of the leaves actually fell off around the side, which is a shame. And I'm wondering if I could hot glue gun them on. But I've not done that. But some of you may have done that already. And then all I've done, and I'll fill this up with water in just a moment, is I've popped those in. And voila, you've got yourself a bouquet in a Savoy cabbage. And that's how easy it is to make that. And I've got another decoration to show you right now. Hang on. If I come over here, while Frankie Jack is making a mess with his Play-Doh, <laughs> let me just pull the seat out and show you this one that I've done. So this that is... One? Oh, yeah, this one, we're going to show you this one. So this is really simple, although I do need a bit more greenery in this. So this bouquet from Tesco's was uh, £5, but usually what I do is I fill it with uh, foliage from my garden, but I just haven't had chance to do it because we've been so busy with Gary's birthday, etc. over the last couple of days. But I made this for uh, the dining table, not just to try it out for Easter, but also for the dining table to look better for Gary's birthday. So this is lemons, and they're real lemons, and I've just chop them up uh, as finely as I can but not too finely because you need to see what's going on and then if I show you if I pull these flowers away you will see that there's actually another vase in there so that is a vase within a vase and then the lemons have been pushed down the side and that helps the lemons stay in place. So this is a larger vase, this is a smaller vase and there's probably about a centimetre in between them. So I was really lucky on this one that I had two vases that I could end up doing that because I took an absolute gamble on whether I could do this because this is the first time I've done it. But remember, you could do this with... Um, lemons limes you could do this well, i'm just trying to think what else you could do you could do oranges if you want to but i just thought this was a really good spring idea 
uh, for parties, etc. I just thought it looked really, really good, but my display of flowers needs to be that little bit better. I've got to fill this up with water as well. So I only did this the other night, and then either side, I've placed my illusion teacups um, just to give it that real spring like feel. I know we're not into spring yet, but I'm getting very excited because it is um, coming up. <laughs> so um, if you want to do the illusion cups that I've done, um, they are actually on. Um, a vlog a couple of days ago I've done this one as well and I've also done that one that sits over there with the stereo and the um, pictures so this one really easy it vase with a vase now remember you can do this for anything because you could do this with a, a square vase I think a square vase would look absolutely awesome um, it just so happened that you know the flo you know the floating flowers that I did um, the other week for the Valentine's table that came with that set of three and then this was just from Tesco's um, that was a little bit bigger and literally was just in my garage so I was just lucky so you would probably need to shop around to, to be able to find this. But you could do a smaller vase because I prefer this silver not to be here because I'd like to see the lemons going all the way down. Um, I did push them all the way down. But what you could also do is a smaller vase and you could actually just sit maybe a tumbler in there or a glass that you actually drink out of and put the flowers in there. Anyway, just a couple of ideas um, for Easter, for your Easter table. And I think they look superb and it's the first time that I've ever done it. Any ideas would be greatly appreciated. Please put them in the comment section below. Um, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up and don't forget please hit that subscribe button um the more people that hit it the more subscribers the more i'm going to be able to do and the more that i can carry on with vlogging every single day um love you lots as always and i'll see you tomorrow